Alright, so we've covered the old um, GameCube. Now, now we've covered the PS2. Now this is PS1. Uh, PS1, you have an option for quite a few different emulators. I'm just going to show you here. This one, this, this has been enhanced on this setting. But, I'll just show you, because there's probably a lot of people out there going, Oh my god, how do I get this clear? Hey. Right. No, you see the, uh, can you see his legs and that, all the bumps? Oh. No, no, the phone's not there. Alright, right, so you see it's quite, you can see all the edges are bumpy everywhere. Alright, so I'm going to show you a quick fix, how to fix that. Um, um, now in the past, remember I've told everyone you press select and go into your main menu one? Well that's what I su suggest you do for the main settings for all of your PS1 and then fine tune each one individually. Um, but I've already done it, but anyway, I'm just going to go in and change this to show you something. Um, now duck station, make sure I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, so I've got everyone on auto, and that, and you'll notice the video mode, I mean that there, you got to make sure that is the re resolution of your monitor. Every monitor is different, well, you know, every monitor's got a different sort of setting. Yours might not be able to go up to that high, so you must make sure that's right. If that's not right, you're going to get lines in the graphics, and then the writing and everything is going to look way out of whack, and you're going to be wondering what the hell's going on, but it's that, which you'll have to, you know, and make sure you set that in your emulator. Go into the actual emulator. And make sure that the um, and applications go into the emulator, duck station, or PS2, whatever it is. Um, you know, PSX2, and yeah, I mean, um, and Dolphin emulator, all of them ones. And you just want to make sure that you've got everything set to what your monitor is. Otherwise, you're going to be scratching your head going, What the hell? I'm changing all my settings here and nothing's working. Well, that'll be why, because you need to do it with the emulator as well. Whatever you do at the emulator, on this one where we're pressing select, that's what from your emulator, it's on that main one. So, you know, if you had everything on auto, it would just run off what you had set on your emulator. But, I'm just going to show you here. So, this is actually, okay, so that's, get over here. Let's press the select button, select. Right, we've got advanced options. Right, I've put this on Duck Station. I mean, Swan Station's the, the other best one out of them all. Uh, that I reckon out of all the settings I've tried. Duck Station and Swan Station. And I'll tell you where you get most of your clarity. Okay, so, I mean, again, low-end computers, you may have to do frame skipping and things. It's not advisable. Frame skipping can actually cause problems. I actually turn frame skipping off on most of my settings. Um, graphics, get it auto, Vulkan threaded, I mean it depends, some computers won't be Vulkan compatible, um, so just leave it on auto, V-Sync, that stops the screen tier and put that on, at the moment because we're in the main settings one, you can put that on auto, if you do have issues with your game glitching or skipping slightly, just go into its ones where you just hold an X and go into the settings that we did here, and just turn frame skip off, or even come back into this one, turn it off. Um, I don't find it really, I mean, it can help with a couple games, but other games it can do the opposite. Um, and GameCube games, uh, and PS2 games, definitely not just a frame skip, definitely not the PS2. Frame skipping can cause a whole heap of issues, I mean, you can do one skip, but, yeah, honestly it'll be a different setting you've got to look for if you're getting issues. Um, the main thing is if you're getting issues skipping on that, turn your resolution down and also this anti-lazy makes sure it's always turned off. Uh, it's meant to smooth out jagged edges. Well, I mean maybe on a high-end computer, a high-end graphics card, but low-end stuff, mid-range, turn that off. It's just a waste of bloody time. Um, but what you do want to do is texture filtering. Now, you go bilinear. No edge blending. If you go edge blending, you're going to get a funny looking blur and you're going to be like, what the hell, why is it in blurry? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Okay, you got different options there. Um, or uh, nearest neighbour. I mean, nearest neighbour is good too, but again, you're gonna get, you're gonna get Butch's uh, driver when there's street lights, things like that. Um, yeah, all sorts. Of, yeah, it'll just. Uh, It'll get glary and it will the nearest neighbour, so it'll keep branching out, borrowing from the nearest neighbour, and you'll have these massive blocky graphics all over the place with all the lights are. Um, but yeah, Bolinia or Bolinia no edge boom, do that one. Now, uh, preload your custom Texas to RAM if you've got enough RAM. Um, I'm running 8 GB RAM, so I mean, you know, it's not overly out, you know, I'm not doing 16, 32 GB, I've only got an 8 in here, and preload it to the VRAM seems to work alright, get out of here, alright, let's get on the dock station, alright, so I've got everything except the auto, alright, except for that, but anyway, yeah, what's the difference we've got this time? Alright, see how much crisper that image is. No lines, no jagged lines anywhere around the legs. Alright, let's just pause this so we can see properly. See how much clearer that image is to what we had before. You see that? On the legs. And there's still a little bit there, but nothing like what it was. I mean, I've had to go right in close for you to see that. I mean, out bit, I mean, it's just, you know, ten times better. So, those are the settings.